Process costing here, which is a topic that some students find challenging, but this one is actually quite a decent question. So don't be intimidated or put off by the, the topic area. Make sure you attack each question based on its merits. So we're told here about two processes, process F and process G, and we're given some data about them. We're told what the normal loss percentage is, Normal loss is what we're expecting to lose through things like evaporation. It tells us what went in to the process. So how many liters went in and then how many liters came out after we had uh, done whatever this process is in F and G. And then we're asked, is there an abnormal loss or an abnormal gain? And we get an abnormal loss or gain when our actual output is different to what we're expecting it to be. So if I get out more than I was expecting, so if my output is higher than expected, that's good, that's a gain. Um, if my output is lower than expected, that's bad, it's a loss. Now I'm gonna use a little table here to help me to do my calculation. And I know I only have to work out whether it is a loss or a gain. I don't have to work out how big the gain is because it's not asking me for numbers. So let's go through how to do that. Let's start with process F first of all. In process F, we're expecting a normal loss of 8%. And what that means is for every 100 I put in, I'm expecting to get 92 back out because 8% is being lost. So that's my expected output in percentage terms. But what about in litres? Well, my input was 65,000 litres. And if I'm expecting to lose 8% of that, what am I expecting to get out? Well, 65,000 litres going in times by my expected output percentage of 92%, I'm expecting 59,800 litres. How does that compare to my actual output? Actual output here was 58,900. The actual output was a little bit lower than expected. So is that good or bad? Is that a gain or a loss? Well, my actual output here, the 58,900s, I performed worse than expected, more loss than expected, and therefore that is abnormal loss. Okay, you might want to pause the recording here and do process G for yourself before watching the rest of the recording with me. Right, process G then, following exactly the same approach. Our expected output is 95% because we're expecting to lose 5% as normal loss. Let's turn that into an amount in litres. It's 35,625 litres. I took the input amount here of 37,500 and times it by my 95%. How does that compare to my actual output? My actual output is 35,700. Now they're pretty close, aren't they? But my expected output is a little bit lower than actual. My actual is the higher figure. I did better than expected. And if I'm doing better than expected, my actual output is higher than the expected output. That means that I've made an abnormal gain. Well done if you got that bit correct. So let's fill out the answer then. For product F, I've made an abnormal loss, and for process G, I've made an abnormal gain. Great, that's this question done.